FEMAP 2020.1 supports new simulation entities, including direct matrix input and monitor point. First, we will look at DMIGs, which allow you to input a stiffness or a mass matrix without providing the other modeling information. Right-clicking in the model info tree lets us manage using the matrix input manager. This model was imported with internal matrix inputs. I can show selected using the show selected button on the mass matrix or the stiffness matrix. If I edit the selected stiffness matrix, I can change from internalized data to an externalized data. This will write a PCH file or a punch file to a local directory. If we open that file in a text editor such as Notepad++, we can look at the different DMIG entries. This model comes with a few. We can also create internalized data from an external punch file. So here we are round tripping the file as an example. The send a data table button allows us to use the DMIG entries and send it to the FEMAP data table. Matrix input combinations are also possible. Editing the selected combination, we can see the available inputs and the referenced inputs, and we can also create our own. In this model, if we manage our analysis and we navigate to master requests and conditions, we will see the direct matrix input entry. Here we can enable or disable our DMIGs and we can control which matrices are included in our analysis. We will now look at monitor points in FEMAP 2020.1. Here in under simulation entities, we can see all the monitor points for this model. Just like other FEMAP entities, we can list to the messages pane. Right click to manage the monitor points. Within this dialog, we can show selected. We can see information like name and type, and we can edit. This model has monitor points in it already. We can highlight which monitor point is referencing which nodes, either from a group or from previously selected. Contributions are here, as well as summation point, name, label, and color. Click here to create a new monitor point. We'll give it a label and a name for NASTRAN, and we can reference groups that have been set up previously. Here we see nodes, here we see elements. The new monitor point is now listed in the manager. If we manage our analysis, we can navigate to options, monitor points, and control which monitor points are enabled or disabled for this analysis. When we analyze the model, results for the monitor points will be printed to the FO6 file. Finally, once the job has completed, we can scroll to the bottom of the FO6 file and find our desired load summations at our point with the monitor point tags we've given it.